Hello everyone, Adam with D&D Beyond here. Thank you for joining me for a special announcement today. I will not bury the lead. The combat tracker is now in alpha for subscribers. So if you were taking a pool in Twitch chat, then you're going to win if you chose combat tracker. We saw a lot of different guesses out there across the interwebs but uh, Combat Tracker is in alpha at this point in time for subscribers. So subscribers of any sort, hero or master tier, you can access the Combat Tracker at this point in time. I want to disclaimer this, that we are certainly very early with this, but we had found that when using this in our own home games, even in the state that it currently is, that it was really, really improving our games already. And so instead of uh, holding on to that functionality for longer before we shared it with our subscribers, we've decided to go ahead and share that with all of you now. So if you're a subscriber of any sort, uh, you can jump into the combat tracker and the way that you would access that, we're gonna walk through this a little bit today is you'll go to your encounters area. So my encounters here. And once you go to find your encounters, we'll do the captive combatants here. Just like always, you will see the encounter, but you will now get a new run option at the bottom of the screen here. And so you'll get run encounter. You can click run encounter. So this is where I say roll initiative. And all of you out there will tell me your initiative scores. Captain Jarvin, Jason did very, very badly. Manzu did really, really well on his initiative. Becca Rax, she did moderately okay. Quincy, who is somehow sporting an American flag. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but I never knew what was going on with Quincy. Ulfgar Erm Erm Rig, I guess is how you say that. We'll say that the dwarf really had uh, quite the time with initiative. Six uh, did not roll very well, but she rolled a lucky number seven. And Zavabash did decently himself. So then from there, we got monsters. You can auto roll initiative. Now I want to be clear again, this is very early. We will have this at some point in the future as we continue to go through the alpha to where uh, not only would you be able to auto roll for the player characters, but you would also be able to allow eventually allow player characters to roll perhaps digital dice or their own physical dice. And then they would be able to input this initiative number and then everything will auto magically come in. That's down the road. But again, uh, we wanted to get it out as early as possible where we could start getting feedback. So I've auto-rolled the initiative for the monsters. We can start here. We have rounds and turn tracking now at this point in time. You're going to be able to, uh, we do not uh, yet have hit points that are pulling in for the player characters, but that is something that will be added. It's uh, pretty much the next priority in the alpha here. Uh, that all of that uh, start connecting. So it's something that we will be doing in the alpha, but you can at least track what's going on with hit points here. You've got all of the creatures hit points available to you. So you can start uh, doing that. If you want to see what this frontline medic uh, is, is doing, you're going to be able to click on the stat blocks and see them. Flumps are some of my favorite. Flow is Briv Steel Marrow's favorite flump. Uh, but so you can go down through here, you can click next on the turns to keep track of who is going in the initiative. And as you eventually, lots of creatures in this, uh, but as you eventually go down through, you're going to end up back at the top of the order and round two has started. So it's going to keep track of all of that. It's going to allow you to, uh, you know, see your counter notes. This in the future, we will also. Uh, be able to include maps and everything on this right uh, side. So again, we're very early stages here, but this has been very useful in our own home games already. This is a way for uh, folks, uh, you know, have been saying that they don't want uh, to, you know, have to open multiple tabs 
for what's going on with their creatures in these encounters. So you can definitely go through this and avoid doing that with the combat tracker, even in the state that we are in here early. So we want everyone to use it over the course of the alpha. There's gonna be more and more added to it as we're in alpha. We will eventually hit a public beta that would be available for non-subscribers at that point in time. But as we're in the alpha, we want your feedback. So definitely take our survey. You can see the big uh, banner here. So if you have feedback, please supply it there. We also have a feedback area in our forums and that will be uh, a change log will be posted on social media. After this, you can also see it on the site up here with the change log icon. So if you want to go and check out the change log, it's also going to point you to the place on the forums where you can start giving feedback. So, uh, you know, any kind of feedback that you have is going to be valid at this point. Um, not to try to, you know, create any biases out there, for instance, but some of the last bit of feedback, I just want to give an example, some of the last bits of feedback that we had, uh, even for the team before we've gone live with the alpha here is that perhaps when we're using these grays um, to indicate, you know, uh, what the initiative score was uh, and, you know, what the character is, maybe that perhaps looks too deactivated and maybe we need to use some different colors. So any kind of feedback like that is what we would love to hear because we want to tweak this into the best possible tool that it can be. And again, we're looking forward to laying the groundwork here for what will become some really, really slick functionality, uh, you know, in the coming months where we're talking, you know, again, prompting players for initiative, letting them input their initiative, whether that's a digital die roll or uh, they're, you know, rolling physical and adding a number all of that auto magically coming into this and making tracking initiative a very, very simple prospect. Now you can also see that flumps are actually individual, uh, they're getting individual initiative uh, or individual lines here where you can track the hit points, but they were grouped for the actual initiative itself. So that's gonna be done in your encounter with the actual grouping function here, but you can keep track of their individual hit point totals uh, here in the tracker. So try it out, give us some feedback early here. It's very, very helpful to us. And then we will continue to fine tune this over the course of the alpha. We're very excited for you to get your hands on it starting today. I'm going to maybe take a few questions from chat we probably don't have our magic thing going right now, but that's okay. I'm just going to do it like old school and eyeball over here, some of the questions. Uh, so I'll answer a few questions before I wrap up and let everyone get back to their wonderful Tuesday. So uh, Wraith Shadow question, uh, will we be getting a tutorial video for this either on YouTube or the forum? That is a great question and something that I believe we will absolutely do. One of the things that we want to avoid with that kind of content is we don't necessarily want to provide that tutorial uh, probably at this early of, an, of a stage because we think that uh, the UI is not necessarily locked in because that's gonna be based on feedback. So when we get to a state where we're pretty comfortable that the layout and all of that is uh, dry concrete, um, then that is where that is the point where we would absolutely want to provide some type of video YouTube tutorial. And that's probably gonna be closer to like a public beta by the time that we do that. But excellent question, something we will be doing. Uh, let's see. This is from Doc Tanner TV. Will we be able to modify uh, HP and conditions for players? And if so, will it dynamically update their sheet on their device? That is certainly the idea for the end state of where we want to get. So again, um, you know, just transparently here, the way that we pull in character data is different than the way that we pull in monster data. And so that is the reason that we don't have 
all of that automatically pulling over yet for player characters. So the idea would be to pull that over and then at least in uh, you know the eventual state, we would want any changes here to be able to be reflected between any of those uh, instances of the character. Um, and you know we've got to, uh, we're going to have to do some special things to make sure, uh, you know, sometimes it might not display until after a refresh or, you know, whatever. We've got to get into the triggers that are going to make all that happen, you know, as real time as we can get it. Uh, but again, we're going to have to see exactly how all of that shakes out before the end of this. Uh, question from Valentine9K, will we be notified when features are added? Yes, the best place to be notified when features are added will be in the change log. So let's see if we have a change log. Yeah, we do have that up now for the alpha for the combat tracker. So the change log is up. And then you can also see that um, in this section, probably on this same uh, change log entry, um, there will be updates here and um, We've got to see if that triggers your RSS feeds or not out there because you can, uh, you know, tie into an RSS feed for the uh, change log and many folks do that out there. Uh, but either way, uh, we'll, we'll check into that to make sure that triggers a notification. If it doesn't, we'll uh, include individual change log entries. But as we are regularly updating here, the change log and the forums, the feedback forums are the best place for you to keep abreast of the latest and greatest when it comes to the combat tracker. All right, let's see, what else do we have? Question, is the alpha accessible for content shared campaigns? So it is accessible for anyone who subscribes at this point in time. Content sharing does not have any bearing or indication on whether you can access this. That's something that we may look at over time, but there's a level of complexity there uh, that we haven't been able to really get into at this point. Myrmidon73, question, would you be able to import encounters from a published adventure? That is very much so on our short list for the encounter builder, and then obviously being able to run those encounters within the combat tracker. That is something that we are absolutely uh, looking into. Lofter Gaming, will there be pre-configured encounters from Bot Adventures? Same question, yes. That is something that we are going to be getting into for sure. Uh, 19 underscore gaming, how long until you add dice with rolling sounds? Um, it's coming, I assure you, it is coming. Um, all right, let's see, any others? Uh, not Lathera, missed the beginning. Where do you get access to the initiative tracker? It is going to be unlocked for you if you're a subscriber. The way to access it is by visiting your encounters. Once you have an encounter, you can run it. Uh, apparently, you can also do this with uh, Adam's epic encounter. Um, here, we're going to edit this to see, um, let's see, what kind of players do we have? Okay, so make sure that we have, so we're going to run this encounter. I don't know who did this, genuinely. I don't know who keeps trying to just troll me constantly, but I guess this means that if you don't have a, uh, an image portrait for the player characters in your campaign, you get my beautiful face there. Man, the stuff that I put up with around this place. Um, but anyway, um, this is how you get uh, player characters uh, you know, into the campaign. You can roll the initiative. You're going to do it through the encounter itself and then run encounter down here. So you can also, if you're wanting to, if you're running on a laptop as a DM and you want to open the image of a monster quickly, and then just turn it around and let your players see. You can do that as well here. And so um, it blacks out everything behind it so they don't see any of your notes or anything like that. So you can do that here as well. See what happens when you do this. Oh my gosh, the, the trolling never stops. This is definitely an alpha, folks. This will be removed ASAP, I assure you. All right, so that's how you access the Encounter Builder. I will have time for just a couple more questions. Uh, Bear thought, 
when the combat tracker, oh, that's the same question. We're getting a lot of that. That is good feedback because that means we know that we need to prioritize that quite a bit. Uh, and uh, Vadin Shadow question, can we make the Monster Max HP modifiable? And that is a great question. At the moment, you cannot. However, that is perfect feedback for you to leave for us and something that we will absolutely want to cover at some point in the future. But definitely leave that feedback if you had it. And let's see, Bone Graph, can you please let us know who this is available to? So I'll reiterate one more time that it's for any subscriber, hero tier or master tier, anyone who subscribes can access this early to start giving us feedback and to start helping us build what the community needs. That's what this is all about. We're trying to build what the community really needs. Let's see, any other questions? All right, I think that we're about out of time. I'm trying to do, um, I am trying to do just 20 minutes here um, to let you get on with your day. So uh, Eluden, why are you all so amazing? I just genuinely don't know what the secret ingredients are. Perhaps a little dash of sweet tea, some cinnamon, some spice, and everything nice. And it just gives us this concoction that uh, turns out to be amazing. I appreciate the question compliment, and I appreciate all of you for joining me today. Please, if you're a subscriber, dig into this. Let us know what you think. Give us that feedback. Help us shape this into what it needs to be for the community. And this is just the beginning. Lots and lots of additional features are going to come for the combat tracker. We've also got a couple of very big things on the horizon that I imagine I'm going to be able to talk about pretty soon. Maybe something with rolling things and maybe something with being able to, you know, look at characters on you know devices in applications so lots and lots coming on the horizon we're excited uh that we're going to be able to share that with the community just as we have for the combat tracker today thanks folks have a good day we'll talk to you later